One last finishing touch. The front of the car is just transformed with those. The rest of the car was letting them down. They look so good now. What's going on guys? Now, if you've been watching the channel for a while, then you probably know that recently we painted the inside of the headlights gloss black. And ever since I've done that, I've loved them, but there's still something that really lets down the front of this car and some bits on the back as well, and that's all the grey plastics and stuff. So today we're going to get our arts and crafts on again. You've got to admit, they look absolutely awful, so we're going to be painting them gloss black. Okay, so you're joining me in my shed. It's Monday evening. Luckily, I managed to get all these parts pulled off the car last night. So Sunday evening, before I had to go to work for the week, I managed to borrow a car for the week as well. So that's awesome because I can actually, you know, take my time with this and hopefully do a good job. I'm going to rush to get everything back together. So yeah, I'm going to spend a few evenings this week sanding stuff down. Then hopefully, if I can get a dry day, I'll get some spraying done. I, I don't want to spray in here again because last time it was just a nightmare with the fumes. I felt ill for about a week afterwards, so I'm, I'm definitely not doing that again. But, you know, I'm just going to grind this out. I've got the football on, so something to do, keep me entertained while I'm doing this. And yeah, like I say, hopefully we'll manage to get sprayed sometime in the week if I can find a dry evening and can find somewhere undercover to spray. But we'll cross that bridge and we come to it for now. Let's get onto the sanding and then hopefully we can get the front of the car looking better. So let's go. Right, the next thing, I just want to remove these rings so I don't like scuff them up. Eventually, once we get the car wrapped, which remember we're doing, we hit 1,000 subscribers, so make sure you subscribe if you're not already. But uh, yeah, so what we'll probably do is either paint or probably wrap these the same color that we're going to wrap the car. Uh, but for now, you guys know by now, I don't really have a color scheme going on, so I think I'm just going to leave them silver for now. It really feels like they're so brittle and they're going to snap, but I've just got this one loose, I think. <laughs> Right, okay, so all the sand is done. Thank God, I'm so glad that's over with. I, I hate sanding. I mean, I think everyone does, but you know, I especially hate it because I've just spent the last God knows how many evenings after work doing it. It's now the weekend, but it's finally time for paint. I've brushed off as much dust and whatever that I could off these after sanding, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe them down with the, some of this panel prep degreaser. So I'm just gonna spray some of that on a rag, wipe these down just to get any oils or whatever from off my hands or just any last little bits of dust from sanding okay so we're just about ready to paint uh just to show you what i've got i've got some gray primer some gloss black base coat and i've also got some clear as well because these are going on the outside of the car so you know i want to make sure that it's you know the best finish it can be and it's got the most protection it can have i know it's only a rattle can job but you know fingers crossed we get a good result so yeah let's get to painting
So there we go, that's all the exterior plastics painted and I am super happy with the way they've come out. I mean, just look at them. I mean, they're far from perfect, but for a DIY rattle can job, I think these are pretty damn good. Uh, I'm definitely a lot happier with the way the grills have come out, like the lower grill and the, and the upper grill as well. Like They've come out really well. The gloss on those is fantastic for a rattle can job. Some of the other bits, like the fog surrounds and the rear reflector surrounds, you know, they're not the best. But, you know, overall, I'm really happy with this. And for a DIY job, I think for under probably... Under 20 quid's worth of paint, I think this is pretty damn good. There's a little bit of reassembly to do, so let's get that done and let's get these back on the car and see how good they look. Just quickly before we move on to refitting the back bumper, there's just something I want to show you. These bumpers are normally riveted here into the body of the car here. So to remove the bumper, you actually have to drill that out. I'd already done this a long time ago and completely forgotten about it. The bumper was just held on with, I think, just a couple of screws in the wheel arches. But we're going to sort that out today. We're not going to be re-riveting this. I've got a better solution. This is a rivnut tool. And what it's going to allow us to do is rivet a threaded insert into the body of our car. So we've got a permanently threaded hole that we can then just send a screw through to hold the bumper in place. Now the smallest insert that I've got takes an M5 screw, but uh, unfortunately it doesn't quite fit into the body of our car. So we're gonna have to drill this out slightly just so that it'll accept this rib nut. There's also a little bit of surface rust just here. So I'm just gonna sand that back and treat it with a little bit of rust remedy. Then wait for that to dry. Then once that's dry, I'm just gonna clean the area down and then just give it a really light coat of black paint just to try and protect that area from any rust in the future. Once that's had time to dry, I can now go ahead and thread my rib nut onto the tool. Then once it's wound on, pop it into the hole. Make sure it's pushed up firmly against the body of the car. And then squeeze the handles. That should rivet that in place. So that's the bumpers back on and I think they look so good now. Like the front of the car is just transformed with those. Just need to add one last finishing touch. And there we go. Now I think these look so much better. Like I'm so happy with the way the grills came out, like I said before. Some of the other bits like the fog surrounds, maybe not that great, but still, like I said, I think this totally transforms the front of the car. It's so much better than all that faded gray plastic. Now, it has actually been probably about a week since I put all the bumpers back on at this point. I was waiting for the badge to turn up. That came this morning. And I wanted to make sure the car was clean because it was absolutely filthy before. And after I put these uh, grills back in, it just, the, the rest of the car was letting them down. There's also 
A couple of other little things I've been doing since I got these fitted. You may have noticed towards the end of this video some of the stuff I've been up to. Also, if you're following me on Instagram, then you may very well have seen some of the things I've been up to. But you're going to see those in some future videos that are coming very soon. But for this one, it's time to end. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.